idea was to bring neighborhood dining to a beautiful part of Winter Park to get out and be able to walk among the gardens and, and the, the roads and keep a watch and, and it's a very lively, beautiful part of Florida. I really wanted to do seasonally directed and ingredient driven food and that was always been my passion and my drive to really push the envelope with that. Getting in culinary school, one of the things I made sure that it was living in the city of San Francisco, I told myself I would make sure that I work while I attend school, so I got double the education. I ended up luckily getting a job at Star's Restaurant, which was Jeremiah Towers, and he was the forefather of California cuisine. Being able to get underneath this amazing person, the word farm to table was never used then, it was just what was expected of you, and it was the only thing that made sense. And in Florida, our seasons are very backwards. You may, you know, some people may be coming from other parts of the country, they haven't seen tomatoes all winter. Well, here in Florida, we're getting some of our best tomatoes at that time. So that also comes into it being, being using local product. Oprah.com contacted us and, and, and said something about a pasta dish that was uh, mac and cheese. It just came about in the evolution, I think, of how we think about things. It was, it was short rib Gruyere cheese. There's a little bit of horseradish in there. The time tied in with the cream sauce. They liked it enough that uh, it, it made it to their gut. So that was very exciting for us. Be it New York or San Francisco or Chicago, we're definitely competing with those cities on what we're putting on a plate, how we're getting our ingredients, the, the, the way that, that we're interpreting uh, you know, our food to our customers, and the response that we're getting from our customers themselves. So we're starting to get a lot more, just not fine dining choices, but more variety in choices on seeing more affordable places to go to that still have that farm to table concept where there's sit down bistros or open counters or picnic tables setting these really cool and, and they're using very similar products to what we're using if not the same. We know that there's restaurants out there that are trying to be just as good as us if not better and that's where that you come back to that one plate well that one plate has to be the best it can be.